Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. As you can see, I'm behind, or behind me, is 24-hour fitness. And I wanted to talk to you. It's Monday, and most people hate Monday. Most people go to bed Sunday night worried, dreading that horrible Monday morning because they know they got to get back to work and start a brand new work week. And so they dread it. And I think there's something like 70% of heart attacks on Sunday and early Monday are due to the fact that they got to go to work on Monday. And so anyway, I wanted to talk to you. It's Monday morning. And I wanted to t- say that there's always a price to pay for what you want. If you want a great body, you need to get your ass up and go to the gym. If you want to have more money, you have to put in the time to build your business so that you can have more money. If you want to get better at your skill set, if you want to get better at your craft, then you got to put the time in. Where is your calendar? What's on your calendar? When are you crafting that time so that you can be able to get to that next level? What does it look like? Who's helping you get to that next level? Because if you think you're going to go through life all on your own and doing it yourself, it's going to be a tough battle. It looks like there was a rainbow behind me a little bit. So anyway, I had to check. But anyway, just getting back to it, there's always a price that you got to pay. So whatever it is that you desire, whatever it is that you want, maybe you want more money, maybe you want more time, maybe you want more freedom, you want to live in a new place, you want a new car, whatever that looks like, have you really scheduled it out? Have you really written out what you want specifically And then created a plan with a timeline to be able to go out there and get it. There's always a price to pay. I was up at 5 o'clock this morning doing my morning rituals to make sure that I have the energy, I have the, the wisdom studying notes after working out, that I am prepared for my day. So what do you guys do? What do you do to prepare yourself for today? What do you do? What's the price that you pay? I could have easily slept in until 8 o'clock if I wanted to. I don't have calls until 9 But there's a price that I wanted to pay because I know there's things that I want. I want a better body. I want a better relationship with my wife. I want to have, uh, you know, I want better finances. I want more knowledge so that I can help end suffering with my clients and anyone that I come across. And for my bigger mission, my bigger purpose. So what is it for you? There's a price that you got to pay, but maybe some of you aren't paying that price. Maybe there's a reason why you're not paying that price. Maybe you're too comfortable. Maybe you're scared. Maybe there's some fear showing up for you. Maybe you've tried in the past and it didn't work out. What I'm here to tell you is if you tried to do that in the past, you haven't really made a decision and committed to go to that next level. My invitation is find someone that will hold you accountable. Get a coach. Again, I'm going to be very biased on this one, but get a coach. Someone that will hold your ass accountable because here's the deal. You get one life to live. You don't get to do this again. There's no rewind. There's no pause button. You don't get to go back in life and say, oh man, if I would have only have done that. The people that do that are not the people that are, create, are achieving great things in their life. And I'm not saying they got to go out and make a dent in the universe, but they're not growing their self-image. They're not becoming more. They're not fulfilling their higher self and who they could be and who they were designed and crafted to be. See, the most attractive person I believe out there is the person that you're ultimately supposed to become. That's attractive. When you show up in life, giving it your very best, raising your standards, committing, shit, I beat the sun up this morning. I'm done my workout. I'm done filling my brain and studying the knowledge that I need to for today. And it's like 7 o'clock in the morning or 7.30, something like that, a little before 7.30, but I beat the sun up. So what are you doing? What's the price that you're going to pay? So here's the deal. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to write down what it is that you want. If you got to pause this video, go ahead and pause it if you're watching on replay. If you're watching live, grab a pen, grab your phone, write down what is it that you truly want. What does that look like? Then, once you write that down, I'd like you to put down where, when are you going to schedule this, that time into your calendar this week? Is it after work? Is it before bed? Is it early in the morning? Write down when are you committing to this dream of yours? Once you've done that, I'd like you to write down, why are you doing this? Make it sexy. Make it compelling. Make it fun. Make it playful. Right? Why do I get up at 5 o'clock in the morning and go to the gym to pay that price? Because I want to be sexy, shredded, and strong. I want girls to want me and guys to want to be me. That's just why I go. I want my wife to never be able to stop touching me or loving me 
I never want her to look at another, another man. Now, I'm putting it in nevers. <laughs> but I should be focused on what I do want, not where I don't want. But go ahead and write down what it is that you want. And then once you've done that, I'd like you to write down what's the price that you're going to pay? What's the price that you're going to pay so that you can have more money, a better house, more quality time with your family? What does that look like? What's the price that you're willing to pay? You know you guys could wake up on Monday morning being absolutely excited. You can go to bed Sunday night absolutely excited, loving what you do, committed to what you guys are doing in your life, who you're becoming, what you're creating. So, I hope you took the time to write it down. If you didn't, and you're just saying, oh, here's just another video. You know, I've heard this a thousand times at the seminars before. Well, guess what? The reason why you're still where you're at is because you're not listening to everybody who's telling you what to do and what you need to do to get to that next level. When you commit, when you listen, when you apply, that's when things happen. You can't use the law of attraction, watching the secret, to get everything that you want in your life. You have to take massive action. You have to take action on what you want. So, with that being said, go ahead, do those exercises, get clear, whatever it is for you, and I hope you guys have a fantastic Monday because here's what I know. You wouldn't be on this earth You wouldn't be here today. You wouldn't have oxygen coming into you, filtering through your body, keeping you alive. If there wasn't a bigger purpose that you were here to have and to do or to create, there's a bigger reason why you're here. There's some spiritual force out there, whether you believe in God, the universe, whatever, there's a higher purpose out there. There's a higher force that has a reason that you're here. And so I just want to encourage you today, if you feel like you're not good enough, if you feel like fear is holding you back, if you feel like you don't know what your passion is, I'm here to tell you there is a reason why you're here. You might not know it, but it'll be revealed to you. You have to seek. The good word says seek and you shall find. Well, find out what that is. If you need to take the weekends, I just had a friend. Actually, I got to catch up with him. I just had a friend who took two days out in the wilderness all on his own to just discover, get his head right, discover what he wanted in his life. What, do you, what, what path was he going down? I had a friend, she did that same thing like a month ago. And she made some unbelievable changes in her life. Some incredible things came out of it. So you're here for a reason. If you know what that is, you have this... You have this right to go out and fulfill that. And it's not because of you that and the things that you would get or create or have. It's because of the people that will benefit from what you're about to give them because of your gift. We all have a gift inside. You have a gift inside of you. Whatever that is, I don't know. But I sure as hell would love to find out. I would love to see the world be able to see what you can reveal to them about what's so beautiful inside of you, what's so great inside of you. So if you already know it and you're not using it, if you're not amplifying it, if you're not making it attractive for other people to come and desire your services or your business or or your time, it's time to step up. It's time to create your destiny. It's Monday. Holy shit, you're alive. You could have woke up in a hospital. You could have woke up, depending on your spiritual beliefs, on the other side. But you didn't. Find one thing that you're grateful for today and really feel it, associate to it in your body and be thankful that you're alive and then go out and tackle today. Even if you have a shit, of, a ton of shit on your plate today and it's going to be a crappy day, guess what? It's a decision to make it a crappy day. You can go through it in, beautiful, in a beautiful state. You can go through and have a blast. You can make it fun. You can make it playful. It's just your attitude. And I know you have the ability to shift your attitude because I used to be this negative Nancy out there. Now I have an extraordinary outlook on life. Am I perfect? No. And are you perfect? No. I get that. We're going to have our time, our rough times and you're going to fall down. But what I am saying is if you fall down, that's awesome. Look under the fridge, see what's under there, and then get your ass back up and have fun. Go make a playful day out of it. There's a reason why you're here. Go out there and make today count. Joe Moffitt, Master Life by Design. Love you all.